On 1st of May, River Nyamwamba broke its banks and disorganized the entire Chilembe Valley, washing away several bridges, schools, as well as the traditional hospital of Chilembe Mines. The flood saw all crops farmed in the valley washed away and the national water and sewage pipes and the entire system collapsing. Today, this is how it looks. The rocks are left bare, which still give bad memories of the community affected. WBS-TV caught up with the acting director Plan Uganda, who was visiting schools and Chilembe Hospital on a fact-finding mission and observed that there is need for helping children with skills of coping mechanisms, but who showed signs of psychosocial trauma. I would imagine the roaring of the waters around here, how terrified the children were. And we hope that uh, display equipment, this support, will, br I will bring um, psych psychosocial healing to many of these children that are here. Some of the children saw their parents being washed away by floods, while others saw their houses and the household properties disappear in huge waters. R the rain was raining heavily. In the, mount, in the mountain forest. Then River Nyamwamba started flood, flooding gradually and full on its banks. We saw, we saw, water, we saw water passing through our, our school compound, destroying our school buildings. We had playing materials there. We had a tank there, we had taps and toilets. They were all washed away with water, with, with floods. The floods took, destroyed our road, it destroyed our houses, it destroyed our bridges. It also killed some people. It killed one of the teachers. I feel bad because now our fellow pupils were comfortably in their rooms, but now they are now in the tents, they feel coldness. So I pray to God so that they can give us new blocks for our fellow pupils. This area was the Chilembe Hospital staff quarters, and these are some of the walls that are standing in the middle of the rocks. The rest of the hospital flooded with water destroying beds, mattresses, and a lot more. These heaps are some of the remains and the hospital that is now operating with difficulty. According to the hospital administrator, Sister Teresa Kamgole, more than 3 billion shillings is required to rehabilitate and have it fully operational. The total damage of uh, 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 we incurred, uh, we lost the drugs, we, we lost the supplies, we, infrastructure was destroyed, and including the... The staff quarters, uh, the budget is about 3.6 billion Uganda shillings. Three weeks after the hospital resumed operations, Plan Uganda has donated 100 mattresses, bed sheets, blankets, and assorted nutritional food supplies to the hospital's children ward.